Welcome to another exciting video. Today we are exploring a significant aspect of the Christian community in Nigeria. Wena's Chapel founded by Bishop David Oedipo has been a powerhouse of faith and spiritual growth for millions. However, over the years, some influential pastors have made a difficult decision to leave the church. In this video, we will be listing out 8 most powerful pastors that left Wena's Chapel. We will also examine their journeys, reason for living, and the impact of their departures on the church and their own ministries. If you are interested in this story, pull a chair, sit back and watch the video to the very end. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you to notify you whenever we drop a new video and don't forget to like, share and drop a comment. Thank you. Coming up at number 1 is Dayo Olutayo. By virtue of being a brother to Faith Oyedepo, he is an in-law to Bishop David Oyedepo. Dayo Olutayo served the church in various capacities including as the resident pastor of the Winners Chapel of Medugri and Nairobi Kenya branch before being transferred to the ministry in Abuja branch and later consecrated as a bishop. The church decision to transfer him to Portacourt did not go well with him in 2004. He later rejected the posting, denounced the bishop's office and consequently broke away and set up his own church not too far from Winners location in Abuja. The upheaval caused by his resignation almost tore apart the former church. It was reported in some quarters that he had previously informed Bishop David Oedekbo that he wanted to be released to start his own ministry, but was asked to hold on to it. The transfer now served as a good opportunity for him to fulfill his intentions. Today, Dayo Ulutayo is the senior pastor of Good Tidings Bible Church International, one of Abuja's thriving ministries, and his ministry has exhibited characteristics that qualify him as addressed with an apostolic dimension of divine favor. Coming up at number 2 is Bishop George Ajeman. Bishop George Ajeman, a Ghanaian, was one of Bishop Oedipo's trusted disciples who worked in the ministry for many years and was ordained bishop. He was promoted to head winners chapel Ghana consisting of 14 churches distributed across Ghana. Bishop George in a cunning way later re-registered the church under his own name. In 2004, after the headquarters in Kanalan, Uta, Nigeria attempted to transfer him to winners chapel Ibadan. Bishop George Ajeman staged a takeover of Winners Chapel's Ghanaian branch. The Ghanaian branch of the Winners Chapel Ghana was started in 1996 and had already 14 branches at the time. While Ajeman was transferred to Ghana in 2002, when government authorities in Ghana called for churches to be licensed as corporations, Bishop Ajeman at Fox Winners Chapel and went ahead to re-register the church under his new name, Winners Ghana Chapel, consequently removing the names of all Nigerian trustees and took over the ownership of the church in Ghana. All attempts were made by the Pentecostal Council to address the ownership issue. Eventually, the church was divided into two. The faction of David Oedipo, now known as Winners Chapel International Ghana, continued to thrive and another faction by Ajeman, known as Winners Chapel Ghana, also continued to exist. The Oedipo faction of the Winners Chapel, which started again in the crisis of 2004, has now a network of more than 200 churches. However, the Chapel of Winners Ghana led by Ajeman has plunged from 14,000 members to 1,000 members. Coming up next is Bishop Joseph Okorua. The 62 years old bishop is from Edo State, precisely Eastern Central Local Government. He was admitted into Ilori University in October 1977 to study physics. He graduated with a Bachelor of Science in August 1982. Prior to this time, he had served in different positions in the church, especially in the campus fellowship where he later met Bishop David Oedipo. After graduation, he picked up an appointment at the National Center for Technology in Education, Cardinal, in September 1983. It is said that he is part of those who founded the Living Faith Church at that time. He was actually among the first few members who started the church on 11th of December 1983. He became a full-time minister in the Living Faith Church in 1988 and served with merit and rose to the post of Chairman National Church Committee in 1988 all the way to 2006. He was a member of the Ministry's Executive Council. He was Winners Chapel's Bini Regional Overseer before he left the church in 2008. He then established the Christian Assembly of Speech Setters with headquarters in Portacourt. Coming up next is Bishop Bolu Martins. This powerful bishop who is from Kogi State served God meritoriously under the Living Faith Church for two decades until God called him to lead a new mission. He was inaugurated at the bishop's office in Lawrence's Northern Central Area on 21st February 2007. Among the branches he served were Ibadan and Kanu. In 2007, he resigned and established the Treasured Life Family Church with headquarters in Kanu and branches in Abuja and Ibadan. Coming up next is Bishop Mike Afolabi. In 1984, the bishop entered the ministry and four years later became a full-time minister in the ministry. 
He was posted to the ministry's branch of Bauchi in 1990. He subsequently worked in the church branches in Ilori, Ibadan, Wari, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Ikorodu. After 25 years of service within the ministry, he resigned on 15 November 2013. Today, he is the presiding bishop of the Heart of Grace Christian Center, Ibadan. The church focus is to empower people with God's love and to make people concentrate on God. Next on the line is Bishop Thomas Aremu, who was before his retirement the Vice President Forum Mission of the Living Faith Church Worldwide under the leadership of Bishop David Oyedebo. He was the senior pastor of the church branch in Ibadan before his recent retirement. Bishop Thomas Aremu was enlisted as full-time pastor in Living Faith Church Worldwide in May 1994. He was the pioneer pastor of the Living Faith Church Ibadan a church that grew under his pastorate to 10,000 memberships in only four years. He was also privileged to be the senior pastor and regional overseer in various branches of the Living Faith Church in Ilori, Kaduna, Port Harcourt, Johannesburg, South Africa, and Accra, Ghana. He was consecrated as bishop of the Living Faith Church in December 1999. He was vice president of the church network between 2001 and 2003, vice president, African mission, and vice president forum mission 2010 to 2012. Before his recent retirement, he occupied the position of a missioner of Living Faith Church worldwide and was currently the presiding bishop of the Living Faith Church Winners Chapel Basharum in Ibadan. He is married to Pastor Mrs. Elizabeth Moredayo Aremu and they are blessed with four children. According to Bishop Aremu, he has no plans to open his own church and he remains a Living Faith member even after retirement. Bishop Abioye, just like Bishop Aremu, is one of the bishops that has recently retired from the Winners Chapel. Bishop Abioye is a pastor of long-standing experience under the ministry of his lifetime mentor, Bishop David Oedepo, who is the president of the Living Faith Church worldwide. Before his recent retirement, he was a pastor in charge or senior pastor of the Living Faith Church, Goshen City, Kilometer 26, Abuja Kefi Road, Nigeria, West Africa. Apart from focusing on the core messages of the church, which includes faith, prosperity, and science and wonders, he is also gifted in motivating the saints of God towards spiritual stewardship victorious Christian living and developing intimate relationships with God. All of this you will find in the simple, practical and life applicable teachings presented on his site. He is joyfully married to Mary A. Abioye, who is also an ordained minister and they are blessed with three children. Bishop David Abioye recently retired from the Winners Chapel and from all indications, it doesn't look like he is going to set up his own ministry. However, let us watch and see what happens. Finally, is Bishop Dixon or Lorunda. In 1981, when the then brother David was given the liberation mandate to start the ministry, his mother, Fit Abiola Akano, along with brother David Abioye, Emmanuel Osset, Joseph Ibrahime, and Dixon Olorunda were the people he shared the dream with. By this time, Dixon Olorunda was one of the powerhouses that was gathered to pray and fast to make the celestial vision a reality. He was one of the first eight ministry members who began the Kaduna Church. He served the church in many different capacities until he left to begin his own ministry. Today, he is Royal Destiny's Church presiding bishop, Benin City, which he started in May 2007.